There is a Salomon, Salmon, 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 and some almonds. No, 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 almonds, almonds, on the cupboard. Hmm, in the kitchen. Put your clothes, clo clothes uh, in your room. I'm going to the library, li library, library. Don't make the house a chow, chows. What? How do you pronounce these words? Hello, my name is Maddie from POC English. And in this lesson, we are going to talk about 10 commonly mispronounced words in the English language. Plus, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you an online tool that you can use for free in order to improve your English pronunciation. So watch this video to the end. Let's start with the commonly mispronounced words and number one is this word. How do you say it? Say it. Cup, board, cupboard? No, it's actually Cupboard. Cupboard. Pay attention. P is silent. Shh. Cupboard. 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 It's a piece of furniture with shelves and you know you can put stuff in it or on it. The two words separately are pronounced cup, like a cup of tea or coffee, and board, like a blackboard or a whiteboard or a board. Cup, board, but together it's cupboard. Cupboard. Into your cupboard. Oh, good. It's just locked in the cupboard. Why is it in the cupboard? Number two, a very controversial word. How do you pronounce it? It's a kind of fish. Salmon. Pay attention, guys. L is silent. So you don't say salmon or salmon. No, it's salmon. 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 Now, let me tell you one thing. Some words have different pronunciations in American or British accents, right? But for this word, it's the same in both accents. So both American people and British people say salmon, no L. Salmon. Salmon. Salmon, that's obviously... Salmon. There's salmon over here. Another very controversial word. What's this and how do you say it? Almond with the L or almond? without the L. Which one? Well, actually both of them. But pay attention. The American pronunciation includes the L very, very slightly. It's like almond. Almond. However, the British pronunciation does not pronounce the L. Almond. Almond. So, almond, American. Almond, British. Almond butter and gasoline. And the almond ones. Oh. Oh, is there any... Uh... Almond milk. Word number four, this one. How do you say it? Library? Library? Which one is correct? Well, again, for the two accents, you can have two different pronunciations. Number one, the American pronunciation, it's library. 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 Say it with me. Library. However, for the British pronunciation, since the British people don't pronounce the R, they say library, 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 library. Library. What library? Library. Library. And number five, very, very controversial. Clothes. It's difficult to say. How do you say it? Well, American people make it easier and they say close, simply close. It's like close the door, close the door, close. I want to buy some new clothes. But British people say the TH very slightly. Clothes, 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 clothes. Both of them are correct. What clothes? Try not all our clothes, clothes. clothes. Now, look at these two. How do you pronounce them? Desert? 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 How do you pronounce these two? The one with one S is pronounced desert. 
Desert. The stress is on the first syllable. Desert. It's a dry area of land with little to no rainfall, covered in sand. However, the one with double S is pronounced desert. Desert. Now, the stress is on the second syllable. It's not desert. No, it's dessert. And it means something sweet that you eat after your food. So pay attention. Next time you go to the restaurant, you don't say, I want desert. You want dessert. Or next time, if you are in a desert, don't say, I'm in a dessert. Come on. In the desert. It's desert storm. Lunch. Dessert. Lunch. Dessert. <laughs> Before we continue, let me tell you something. If you want to dramatically improve your English grammar, learning all the tenses, and improving your English vocabulary by learning lots of topic vocabulary to be able to speak about different topics, you can join my online English courses. I have three courses, beginner English course, intermediate English course, and advanced English course. In each course, you will have different lessons of grammar, lessons of vocabulary, lots of online exercises and quizzes to practice. Plus, you will have me by your side. If you are not sure of your level, you can take a free placement test to understand what level of English you have. Simply go to my website, click on this link, go to my website or click on the link in the description of this video. Let's continue with our pronunciation lesson. Do you know the four main geographic directions? North, West, East, South. These are nouns. But what about the adjectives? Imagine you were talking about the word countries and you want to say Northern countries, Western countries, Eastern countries, Southern, Southern, no, Southern, Southern. The pronunciation of the adjective of the word South is not Southern, it's Southern, Southern. So you can say Northern countries, Eastern countries, Western countries, Southern countries. Southern California. Southern California. This isn't not Southern. Word number eight. Look at this one. How do you pronounce it? I-R-O-N? So it's iron. Iron. Nope, it's not iron. It is iron. 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 Both American and British people say iron, so it's not iron. But what is iron? Well, it's a kind of a metal, right? Like iron door, iron knife, iron gates. It is also a chemical that our body needs. You need to take some iron supplements. As a noun, it's also an object that is very hot. You plug it in and then you use it to smooth out the surface of your clothes, to flatten your clothes. As a verb, it means using an iron to iron your clothes. So the pronunciation is iron. It's not silver. It's iron. These iron supplements. Iron chip! Iron chip! Word number nine. Look at this one. How do you say it? Very easy, right? How do you say it? It's colonel. Colonel, right? No! Actually, it is kernel. Kernel. The L-O in the middle is silent. Instead, you say Er, er, colonel, colonel. But what does it mean? A colonel is an officer of a very high rank in military or in the air force. Colonel, not colonel, colonel. In fact, it's also the name of a kind of burger called colonel burger, not colonel, colonel. Our neighbor is a colonel in the air force. Our neighbor is a colonel in the Air Force. Where's the colonel? Colonel? Colonel Blake? Colonel? And word number 10, look at this, and how do you say it? CH makes the sound of ch, right? So is it chow, chow, chows, chows? 
It's like saying ciao and then making it plural. Ciao's no. It's actually chaos. 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 But what does chaos mean? Chaos means a total disaster, a total mess, a total lack of order. Everything's a mess. It's a chaos. Our house is a complete chaos at the moment. Ooh, ooh, everything's dirty and messy. It's completely cramped. It's a chaos. Chaos theory. Chaos theory. The whole thing's chaos. It's not chaos. That's it with the 10 difficult words, 10 commonly mispronounced words. Don't forget to watch the video again trying to pronounce after me. However, now it is time to introduce an online tool that you can use in order to improve your pronunciation to lessen and you can also practice. Let me show you. The secret online pronunciation tool I want to introduce to you is Google. Yes, very obvious. Go to Google and search pronunciation. You will see the dictionary. Now, type in a word. For example, the word we learned today. Huh, what is it? Is it colonel? I don't know. Let's lessen. Colonel. Oh, it's colonel, but I'm not sure. I want to practice. Click on learn to pronounce. Here, this is the pronunciation box. In this pronunciation box, you can see how it sounds like colonel. You can select the accent, British or American, colonel. You can also play it. Colonel. Mm, that was fast. I want to slow it down. Colonel. 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 You can also see the movement of the lips. Colonel. Colonel. All right. Now it is time to practice our American pronunciation. Let's see if I can pronounce it correctly. Colonel. Oops, that was a wrong pronunciation. How about this? Colonel. Good job. What about this one? Colonel. Hmm, that was wrong. I said Curwell. Ah, try saying n instead of wa. How to improve it? Well, let's see. Caramel. Oh, I said caramel. That was wrong. You see, this is a very, very strong tool in order to uh, practice your pronunciation. And that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you want to have the lesson summary of this video and every other videos that I have on YouTube in a PDF file, all you need to do is to give me your email address. And these PDF files are for free. But how? Go to my website, pocenglish.com. The link is in the description. Click on the link, go to the website, enter your email address and hit subscribe. You will receive my emails with the PDF summary files of all my videos. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. See you soon. Bye.